Hey guys, welcome to the Stephen Trice Podcast, episode 28. Yes. Wow. Yeah, that take two of the intro and Joe still came in early. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. One more. Your poor girlfriend. Ryan isn't here. He's been <laughs> replaced by David Reese. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be back. He's he's had a two week quarantine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> have you have you if done you anything? No, nah, I'd never left the house. <laughs> <laughs> I get that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Max is back. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Were you away? Ooh. Well, I haven't been in this room for the last two weeks, just yeah, waiting yeah. for my friends to come back. <laughs> <laughs> the janitor's coming in. Oh, can you leave, please? Oh, they'll be back soon. <laughs> I swear it. I'm just so lonely. Uh, and Thomas Goody's here. <laughs> Oh. Joe McGrath is here. And, uh, he was the reason we weren't here last week, but he's also the reason we are here most weeks. You know, that's Joe for so, you. He was in Turkey for a week. <laughs> Not like the time if he got to loop up his cock on Christmas Day. <laughs> Stop it with the sage and onion, Joe. Get out of the kitchen. Oh. Good to be back. Oh. Good to be back. Anyway, today's podcast is about history. His tour reviews. Yay! <laughs> tour. Dave, how was Prague? Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. Uh, nothing like Amsterdam. <laughs> uh, and the reason why I say that is because I thought it was going to be a lot like Amsterdam. Why? Why? Ganja and girls? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. So I was like, ah. But um, no, it wasn't. It was. Uh, it was all right. It was all right. No, no atmosphere really. Usually, oh, it's the place. I to... love that. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Usually, there's a lot of what was it? Where you got Hindus? What's the other? Stag dudes. Stag dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, there's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah. We didn't get none of them. So, is this the first time you went to Prague? <laughs> first time I've been to Prague. And yet, you know what it's usually like. <laughs> <laughs> I've read the pamphlets. <laughs> <laughs> read the menu. Also yeah. thought it was going to be like Amsterdam. Damn, yeah, yeah, nothing like Amsterdam. No fucking it, girls, man. You sound uh, like you're a little bit disappointed because you I like was. Amsterdam. I love Amsterdam. Yeah. So do you think that possibly going during all this the pandemic is let taken it down. away from yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It was, we went to a nightclub and it was just us and these <laughs> other two people. Are you sure yeah. it was us? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing the DJ. There was Come no, on, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> no staff. No. no <laughs> help yourself. Help yourself. <laughs> just a bar. It was incredible. <laughs> a couple of homeless people <laughs> sleeping on the floor. I'm not funny about the homeless. Okay, yeah. Max. You shouldn't say stuff Rain like that. I finally right got a platform in. where I can speak my views. <laughs> no, no, no. Because we, me and Tom, just before yeah. we were walking past a busker, yeah, he said, uh, oh, where'd you get your hair done? You know, did they do it with a fork and spoon? Yeah. <laughs> and I think the greatest comeback is having a roof over my head. So. <laughs> 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 so that's how, maybe we could get some of Max's views on the back of that. So, so yeah, don't joke about the homeless. Because I'm going to do it instead. Oh, God. <laughs> the other day, uh, there's a homeless person outside Tesco. And uh, he said, have you got any money on you? No one does these days. Oh. You know, they've, they've just got the phone. Uh, mm. I was like, no, I've just got my phone. He went, oh, can you not take a tenner out? I was like, no, it's just a phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we asked, oh, is there anything... You want from the shop? It's like, oh, I've got a bag full of stuff. Uh, we might a chicken sandwich and a, uh, a San Miguel, though. So I went and got it in, uh, or my girlfriend did. <laughs> and she went out the shop and she couldn't find it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it works for Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> Good advertisement. Good yeah. advertisement. Yeah. Uh, anyway, history. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I forgot to ask Tom. Tom, how, how's your week been? Uh, back in work. Oh. Just working hard. Uh, making that dollar. And in a crust. Yeah, got him, mate. Uh, yeah. This economy, man. Getting up earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Long days. More difficult to like manage my time now. <laughs> Miss yoga two weeks in a row. Uh, oh, you bring so much life to Tom. <laughs> it's rare in a podcast you can hear the sound of a chest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Max, what have you been up to, you fucking nutter? Oh, <laughs> thanks for asking, Stephen. <laughs> when I say fucking nutter, I'm <laughs> You know, I've got stories to tell. <laughs> I was gonna say you can fill in the gap, and then, and then <laughs> that was good. Yeah, yeah. that's cute, sexy. Yeah. Your hair looks shorter than last week. Okay. <laughs> have you have you cut it? No, no. Oh, Taking right. a spoon and fork to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I washed it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, last week, <laughs> which things that go out. How's that working for you? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. I sort of have this self wash where just sweat comes. <laughs> 
We laugh, but it's true. Um, <laughs> he licks himself clean. Yeah. I wasn't meant to lick my hair on my head. <laughs> well, cats like lick their, oh. they lick their hand and then they. Yeah. yeah. For those of you listening, Tom is just uh, topless licking his nipples. <laughs> <laughs> licking his arse off. That's Ooh. crass. Come it's on. not. How's that crass? Yeah. Licking an arse off. That's a rim job, mate. <gasps> oh, it is, isn't it? <laughs> Don't play <too. laughs> Rim job Smith over here. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, brand new Smith. <laughs> Uh, this week, great question, Stephen. Thanks, Thanks for mate. Yeah. Um, I'm glad you said it like that so we could just cut to that. He's <laughs> <laughs> <was> a genius. <laughs> what, what, a stall, to, what a stall that was. You're going to have to enter me laughing about that. Uh, so this week, I've been, uh, I bought myself a webcam. Oh, yeah. Uh, a cheeky microphone. Only fans. Why is it cheeky? <laughs> I'm not gonna, I know Only fans more that. pictures, Dave. A oh, webcam right. model is different, uh, mate. Yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Dave wanked him. <laughs> I've heard. Only on weekends. Really? No. <laughs> the shock from <laughs> full time masturbation. <laughs> Is that a thing? <laughs> we take the weekends off. <laughs> Just rest our wrists tonight. <laughs> Red Raw by Thursday. Anyway, great question. Go on, great question, Stephen. Put myself a webcam, put myself a microphone. Because you're so... going to be twitching. <gasps> I could be, yeah. Yeah. So That's... Coming, and not ooh. from flashing lights, aka a seizure. Oh. It's a website called, t- a website called Twitch it's... now, which is where people no, just know. stream. Oh, you do? I've heard of it. Oh, look at you. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, oh, Dave, you might have missed it. We call Max's granddad now. Oh, right, okay, okay. <laughs> what are you going to stream yourself? Just eating Werther's Originals? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just you on a drip? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's good, that's good, yeah. <laughs> Pull the plug, please. <laughs> please. Uh, so, so you can be streaming? Yeah, what, hopefully. I'm just sorting it all out now. Just, nice just one. get on with it, yeah? What are you going to stream yourself? Do doing? it. Just stream yourself living. <laughs> Just who no one wants to I'll see that? I'll get a hula hoop. You're halfway people, there. People would probably prefer me stream myself dying. <laughs> what am I talking no. about? God damn it. What game are you going to play? Great question, Stephen. Draw <laughs> uh, <laughs> myself a webcam and a microphone. Oh, baby, I might start a Twitch channel. Who knows? Uh, just sorting everything out now. There's a lot of technical stuff. What are you going to yeah, call nice. it? Um, uh, Twitchy Smith. <laughs> Daddy's Big Twitch. <laughs> what? Uh, what so am I going to call it? Daddy's Big Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> the hottest, freshest new game's been played. <laughs> Um, yeah. Anyway, our producer Joe was on holiday in Turkey. <laughs> Joe, how was that? Yeah, I put on a lot of weight. You put on a lot of weight? Yeah. But you know, when you're on holiday, when you've had a stressful fucking 2020, do what you want, Joe. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think you have put on a lot of weight. Uh, Big Daddy is taken, that's it. Um, <laughs> we've got a hostage message here. <laughs> Big Daddy has been taken, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Uh, no ransom demands. <laughs> He's just been taken. <laughs> it's a weight off our shoulders, really. You can save your money. <laughs> He's gone. I was on a different podcast with two comedians, which is uh, one less than we are. <laughs> These are professionals. Um, nice. And Max has listened to it. Nice. Oh, incredible. Good, yeah. good. Yeah. Not Have me. a word. Uh, I looked at a bit that you shared, but um, that's good of you to say. Fucking fake fans. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> they're, they're really good, though, aren't they? Oh, uh, I was insane. It's yeah. called Have a Word Podcast, Have a word. and uh, the two stand-up comedians, they just riff. You know, they just tear shit up. <sighs> just love riffing. Man. Yeah, man. Nice. Do you want riff now? Yeah, let's do some riffing. Come on. <laughs> do you know what? I was walking today. Yeah. And I, I was sweating. No. And I thought, in this colour top, I pray you don't see my under tit sweat. Oh. <laughs> and then. You know, uh, thankfully, I think I got away with it yeah. thanks to the quality material by Nike. <laughs> nice. So thanks to Nike, you're not on the list. That's riffing. Off the yeah. Love a riff. Really good stuff. No, you're not listening to the Have A Word podcast. <laughs> this is still the Stephen Dry's <laughs> podcast. <laughs> anyway, history. Yeah? Oh. Yes. Ooh. Any memories from uh, history at school? No. Uh. <laughs> In my history class, my worst memory from history is uh, end of the year. I think it was end of summer year, maybe. And we got a choice of DVDs, possibly Christmas. And it it was between two. 101 Dalmatians, not the best, the live action one. Mm. Or The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas. Oh, oh yeah. school's out for summer, guys. Let's watch this, shall we? <laughs> My class only fucking chose that. Oh. Morons. Mm. To be fair, though, out of the two, like... 
I, I wouldn't want to watch 101, 101 Dalmatians. A bloke falls in a pond, it's funny. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Well, I've just seen it so many times. The, no, this was always the problem in, in school when you'd watch a movie. You've got an hour lesson, yeah. you spend the first I'd rather just sit yeah. around. I have fucking finished, Tom. <laughs> Sorry, go on. You say. Uh, and you spend, you know, 10, 15 minutes debating what you're going to watch. Then you've got 40 minutes of a film and the te- uh, teacher turns it off. So you're not going to watch anything anyway. Uh, one teacher refused to put on Mean Girls once. <gasps> Um, mean teacher it was too Shit. rude yeah <sighs> oh. uh, did you ever have to dress up in history oh, or yeah. do a day in primary school maybe where you were from a different period we did two yeah, yeah. we dressed one as uh, Victorians okay. so like pickpocket is and that and then uh, <laughs> Buddhists <laughs> Well, come in wearing a curtain. Is <laughs> Buddhist the period for history? No, it was just like I think it was for our read. To be honest, the more I think about it, I think it was so close to it. You forgot. I just said the more I think about it. Literally, two seconds thought that wasn't history. <laughs> no, no. Re, it was just red and gold everywhere because they like red and gold. I, I, I suppose, they do. I yeah. suppose. Um, Famous fact about Buddhists. Yeah, a Buddhist food, which the quality is street Indian food. We're not just Indian food. But we're going with this. Chinese. Bit, right? <laughs> There's an interesting fact about Buddhists. Fingers uh, <laughs> crossed. <laughs> it was. Uh, it's uh, one of them set themselves on fire to show how devoted they were. There was. It was some sort of protest. Oh, yeah. and he it's, set fire uh, to himself. Uh, yeah. Bit mad, I thought. Was he all right? No. no. A few minutes of he. Oh, oh, we can't read it out, can they? He said he. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. No, he didn't say he. Oh. Egg on your face. That's a hate crime as a vegan. <laughs> I've got my history class to thank for introducing me to uh, gay culture. Um, Alan, Alan Turing? No. Or a gay history teacher? Gay history teacher. Oh, wow. He was, uh, he was a, a lovely gay gentleman, Yeah, yeah. Nice. I believe. Um, Proper gentleman. Proper gentleman, yeah, 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 yeah. Love that. Love that. Uh, and yeah. he was gay, and he was the first gay person I, I met, I think. Wow, yeah, I was properly introduced to the gay community um, <laughs> last week. <laughs> <I ate him. laughs> None of that shit. Well, I went, <laughs> I got a proper <laughs> fucking <laughs> <rug> <laughs> <with> my brother. <laughs> he was a real teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I first come to uni, so nice, yeah. I've got I'm good friends with a gay now. He looked after me. Who? <laughs> uh, Joe Joe Woody, his name is. <laughs> Joe, Woody. Than Joe Wood. Hey, uh, Woody. I mean, Woody. I wouldn't, but Joe Wood. <laughs> Not that Joe. He, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he would, but he'd do it with a mean <laughs> face. Yeah. Um, oh, Joe's Joe's doing a, a YouTube channel. About wings, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> not, not the band. Although it might be, oh, that's so funny. it might become the third episode. <laughs> Chicken, Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Uh, yeah. All Joe, things wings. <laughs> Joe is finally following in his father's footsteps <laughs> and eating some poultry <laughs> <laughs> and filming himself. Does if you want to check out. My grand munches, that is Joe's dad. He just gets some fowl <laughs> and goes to town for 10 minutes. Doesn't even cook the bugger. Um, he's not well. <laughs> just running around the farm, just biting off wings. That's his dad, mate. Have some respect, yeah. That's the most respectful way I can say that. He's done a lot worse. Anyway, Joe, what's it called? Uh, wing it. Uh, and it, nice. and if, you, if you have a co... co uh, Presenter, you could call them your wingman. Oh, hey. Hey. oh. Hey, nice. anyway, so check that Getting out. Well. Yeah. Max is branching out. You've got well, uh, not that, the Franco's that, that drama series you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if yeah, I'm back in work like as I was saying before. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, history. So <laughs> <laughs> I was dressed. We've as... had Buddhism. We've had the gays. Let's try and get back. Who else should we offend? Uh, Didn't offend the gays. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Hmm. Hmm. God, Ryan, Ryan just never overstepped the mark. I know. I should... oh, except when he brought his girlfriend. There's no need for that. Oh. Oh. Uh, last day on earth, he fucking sees his girlfriend. <laughs> Same. I can see the back of my hand. <laughs> uh, speaking of violence, hey. uh, my history teacher hit me once <laughs> with some knowledge. And, uh, it I was an encyclopedia around the back <laughs> of the head. Uh, did, you, did anyone do history at GCC? Nah, no. I weren't smart enough. Yeah, I did it. Oh, What'd yeah. you get? A star. Ooh. Fucking nerd. <laughs> yeah. It's not I, uh, really good I got an A, so. Yeah. Did you ever go on a school trip, like a history based school trip? Yeah. Uh, in Portsmouth, there's a lot of like old forts and stuff. Oh, use, use some bow and arrow stuff, rock no climbing. Way, yeah. I was, I was the best rock climber in my class. <laughs> yeah, you know, everyone yeah. else is in wheelchairs. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Suspiciously. <laughs> uh, I that. will win this award! <laughs> For the trip they saw Zoe Dirk. <laughs> I'll make my own way, said Max. Um, <laughs> he still went to the rock climbing venue. There's a lot of history here back then. Uh, we've got, there's a lot um, of history back then. <laughs> <laughs> and on history. Well, weirdly history. enough, there's more history now, though. Yeah. yeah, that's so you know, true. Weird. Uh, I went to Chester because that's where the Romans did something. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 built a road. I assume. I don't know, Dave. They're famous uh, for that and baths. Yeah, in Chester they've got a load of Roman shit. Mm. Got some in Manchester. I, I went to that. They've got like a wall. Where's Hadrian's Wall? That's Roman, isn't it? It's, uh, Scotland. 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 Yeah, mate. All right. Yeah. All right. Today, uh, at least two of us are going to give you some. Yeah. Great knowledge because we've all picked mm. not necessarily our favourite time in history, but uh, what we thought was uh, you know an interesting one. Max, Hello. I turn to you. What have you gone with, please? <laughs> Little old man called Genghis Khan. Oh nice. yeah, uh, crazy life. There's some crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Who is Genghis Khan? He's a Mongolian uh, conqueror. He's um, <laughs> known for conquering the most connected land ever. And killing... Oh, gone. What What year are we talking? Uh, so he was born in 1162. Oh, and he died 1227. So about well, 65, I think. Less than an hour. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> He, he was short-lived, but he did amazing things. <laughs> he came out of the womb. <laughs> this is all my life. <laughs> I've had my time, son. It's like a fruit fly. Get this out. <laughs> Beast bitches. Uh, yeah, great man, great man. Uh, is he a great man? Do you know what, in, uh, in Harry Potter... Uh, I believe it was Ollivander that said, you know, great doesn't mean good, you know. Could great. mean, you know, making cheese shredded into <laughs> 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 that famous scene. <laughs> the first book was just about Jesus. <laughs> this one's bloody moldy, me. <laughs> Deleted scenes. So, <laughs> my thought is, if Genghis Khan conquered so much land, yeah, he must have done it in a way that might not have been yeah. good for the uh, local citizens of that land. He's responsible for the the most deaths ever. So he killed 40 million people. Yeah. Bigger uh, than Hitler. He killed 40 million people. Yeah. Not like on his own in that one hour. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the Nazis killed, I think the Nazis were 14. Or just, Stalin was 20. And Genghis that we know Khan, of. Oh. Yeah. Genghis Khan was 40 million people and it was awful the stuff he did. He, he, would, he was one of those people that... Um, he would destroy a city, for instance, and just wipe One of out those people. <laughs> <laughs> we all know them. <laughs> you meet them down, pun. <laughs> you don't know what I've done, son. <laughs> sure, I'll go with it. He's one of those people that would destroy a city and just destroy all culture. So you <laughs> it's just a Wednesday. So <laughs> <laughs> I was like to the podcast today. Um, so wipe out all mention of their culture. So we don't even know yeah. the places that he's yeah. destroyed. You know, not all of them. Um, That's awful. But even like his early life is just, it's something out of a film. First so quarter of an hour. So do you want me to go through what I've got here or? I think we've covered that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you must have some interesting stuff. <laughs> That'd be great. So, <laughs> Genghis Khan. Yeah, man. Originally born. Timogen. <laughs> Originally yeah? born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes sense in the context of what I'm saying. Timogen. Timogen. Uh, it's like so Tim and Imogen. <laughs> sure, yeah. I think Timmy. Tim meant- <laughs> <laughs> Or a document singing John Lennon's classic. <laughs> Imagine all the people. This is carrying up for later. Have you got past this first? <laughs> no, I've not, not even said the first line. Ladies and gentlemen, boys I'm, and girls. I'm Tim of Jam. I'm Tim of Jam. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome to Max's History School. It's class. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Pause for jokes. laughter. Pause for laughter. <laughs> Pause for laughter. <laughs> Today we shall be looking into the life of the great Genghis Khan, the Mongolian conqueror. His <laughs> empire took control of 11 to 12 million square feet of land, roughly the size of Africa. Wow. The story is one fraught with the evil of man, but also ingenuity and wholehearted spirit as well. Uh... <laughs> Early years, uh, so he was born in the Mongolian steppe, mm. which is just uh, a vast sort of grassland, and it was like nomadic tribes would live there. So it wasn't like one country that was unified. It was just like uh, sort of gypsies, sort of you yeah, know, just sort yeah. of travelling around doing their mm. thing. His son of a chieftain, which uh, granted him great power, 
Yeah, um, right. And his dad was like, you know what, son, I'm going to marry you off to another tribe because like you would marry off your kids yeah. to unify them. So when he was like nine years old, the dad went, let's go, son. I'm going to take you to your wife, future wife's little tribe. Dad did that and then fucked off. But when he was going back home, the dad was killed. Oh. So little baby Timogen, yeah, he had to go back to his back to his uh, dad's tribe and take over. He's nine years old. He went, all right, lads, I'm king now. And the other guys went, fuck off, you're nine years old, because they believed in like power. Yeah, you'd only follow the powerful. So Timogen and his mum and all his brothers and sisters had to go off. A bit like the Dothraki, I suppose. Yeah. From, uh, sure, yeah. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, sure. Out into the wilderness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they had to fend for themselves and uh, hunt and stuff like that. The issue was Genghis Khan killed a boar. Yeah? And he went, no. this is, is you. <laughs> 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 what more do you expect? <laughs> you can't tell me to write an essay and then go, oh, this is fucking boring. <laughs> I think so, so boring. boring. I'm really enjoying it. I wasn't great. talking to you, Tom, you yeah, arrogant I fuck. <laughs> I was clearly talking Tell to the me. person that went, I'm a boar. <laughs> Fucking hell. Timogen then went, oh, look, I killed a boar. Hi, hey, it's you, Max. And what then, did you mean? Because he was boring? <laughs> yes, obviously, that's what he meant. <laughs> <laughs> what else would you mean by that? I thought he meant like a big wild boar. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I thought... Fucking toothpick no, goony you, so, you were so offended. <laughs> and I wasn't finding it, but I didn't even make the connection that he was finding it boring. Should you see what happens? <laughs> I didn't even make that connection, mate. I was enjoying it so much. I thought it's good on this. Though, if you want to, it didn't right. cross my mind that it was boring. Yeah, the only thing that crossed your mind was you're a big fat wild animal. No, it just seemed like that's what he was saying. <laughs> kill the boar, was it you? What? Don't kill me. <laughs> big wild animal. No, no, reincarnated, mate. No, 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 no. So I'm a reincarnated fucking <laughs> weird grassland boar. It doesn't mean you're weird. I didn't say it was a weird boar. <laughs> <laughs> Boring and fat. That's my legacy on the history podcast. Shagging trees. Just... Where's that come from? Shagging trees. Just a normal boar. <laughs> Shagging other boars. <laughs> okay, Max. So <laughs> basically, it was like, great. Boar. I've killed this boar. <laughs> Laugh. Yeah, great. Uh, his brother went, fuck off. That's my boar. And Timogen, little nine year old Timogen, killed his brother. No need for that. First blood. And he loved it. <laughs> so, yeah. He loved it. Um, like uh, Smeagol. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. If you, you know, you know. The psychology there. They've lost the father. They're struggling with a single mother. That's it. Kids will act up. That yeah. is so true. <laughs> and the brother was an older brother, wasn't he? I, yeah. I, I assume. I just feel weird that you're sort of... Sorry, feel like you've looked up on Genghis Khan. So <laughs> just throw a little... Yeah. You know. And whilst you were going on about it, I was just looking yeah. through. Anyway. Um, so, let's get out of childhood. I, I just want to read the fun facts of Genghis Khan. Because these are actually fun. Or is the fun facts brief? <laughs> yeah. You got them? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Sweet, let's go for a time five minutes at most with this. Mongolian Empire stretched from the Pacific Ocean to the Caspian Sea. I don't know how big Where's the is. Caspian Sea? Uh, near Russia, I think. On the other side of Russia. Yeah, we'll uh, the Khan was given the most beautiful women from each of his army's conquests. Wow. Nice. Which was in the hundreds. Oh, wow. Cool. This wow. led to one in 200 people living today being his direct descendant. That is insane. Yeah. Um, one in two. One in 200. One in two hundred. One in two. <laughs> not, the as way- in, not as impressive as it. <laughs> it's just like 50%. How did he have time to do all this conquering when he's shagging? Once he took over Mongolia and then he went into China and just killed all of them. Yeah. Not like all of them, obviously, like but a large yeah. part of them. That's doing itself, doesn't it? Uh then he yeah, he just went to his generals, you go off and do your own thing. Yeah. I'm gonna stay here, bring me all the women and stuff. We'll have a good time. There was one city that it took six months to take over. Once they got inside of the city, it took another like few months because the uh, the people were doing using like guerrilla conquests and stuff like that. How was this? Uh, it's in China. Mm. Um, he set fire to the whole city oh. and then directed uh, a river to go in there and flood everyone out. Yeah. Killed over a million people in about a month. The Khan fought in many battles and did not win them all, but his most crushing defeat <laughs> was in the year two thousand and twenty. <laughs> When he was cancelled on Twitter. Oh, you don't come back from that. What was he cancelled for? Just being a bad boy. How do they know this if it's, you know, nearly a thousand years ago? How did they know a million people died? Word of mouth. Good question. <laughs> they still did, like, sen- censuses. How did, how did and... he know he was shagging the tens and not the twos? <laughs> 
Realistically, how do we know that anything has ever happened? Oh, preach it. Uh, so, Math Genghis Khan. Genghis so after Khan. that one minute thing that's <laughs> definitely be cut down. So Genghis Khan. <laughs> was a conqueror, end of cycle. <laughs> in terms of, you know, as a leader. Yeah. He, he was all right, but yeah, got he, beaten quite a few times. He was very good to his, um, to his, uh, to the Mongolians. Yeah. But to a lot of other people, he was just ruthless. Oh, Sounds like Awful. It. Like, again, some of the ways he got uh, prisoners killed... Uh, he was he was ransacking one city and they pulled up the bridge so there's a moat there he would get all the prisoners of war to go in front of his army and fall into the river until there's a human bridge Jesus. that they could p- take their siege weapons across and just destroy the city you know um, you know when you said he, he took over China how yeah. many years did it take for China to, to like go back to normal and- so when, when I say he took over China it was like so back then China was uh, it wasn't one country it was several dynasties wasn't yeah it? So yeah so you'd have the Jin dynasty and mm. then uh like different provinces yeah there. loads of different like kings and rulers and stuff uh, so he went through he went uh through mongolia up to beijing i believe the, the great wall of china was built to uh defend against the mongolians oh. yeah. uh, why wasn't that in the fun fact let me ask you know how does this relate to the does film mulan how does it relate to the film The Incredibles? <laughs> Great question. Thanks. So there is a theory that all the Pixar films are set in one universe. Yeah, there is. Uh, and obviously Mulan is not a Pixar film. <laughs> but I don't think Chinese... That doesn't matter, does it, for the point that you're making? <laughs> I'm sure The Great Wall of China has been referenced in a Pixar film. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway, thank you for that. That was uh, Max the... <laughs> Max the... <laughs> I'm just picturing the audience just just hanging from nooses. Hey, why would you picture them like that? That's not nice. Do you not like the audience or something? <laughs> I just didn't like this, you know. I liked it. Hours. I thought it was very intriguing. Yeah. Now it's time for Stephen Lies. Stephen Lies. Stephen Lies. Stephen Lies. Stephen Lies. Uh, Dave is our detective. Yep. Um, whilst you're away, Tom had two cases to crack. Smashed it. Smashed it over your head. Yeah. Really like tricky one. Your own ineptitude. Really tricky one. Yeah. Tom, you're just back to one of us this week. <laughs> it's me, Max and Tom. Okay. Um, I'll go. I'll do it in that order. I got rejected for being in a period drama with Dawn French. Dawn French. Oh, nice. Max? On the way to history class, I squirted on a year seven. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. I'm back, baby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't, don't ask him anymore. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> I failed a history exam for when I wrote an essay on the wrong war. Okay, uh, Steve, would you like to elaborate? Not really. <laughs> uh, so this show was called Lock Rice to Candleford, <laughs> and it came out in 2009. Oh, is that is a real thing? Yeah. Like, I was on a website called Star Now. I was going to be an extra. Uh, I went to I went to the first phase, and all they base it off is your picture. Yeah, yeah. And they were just looking for like a lot of young people to be villagers in this town. So obviously, being a white guy, I fitted in well for this period <laughs> drama. Um, I went to the audition in Liverpool, and there was, there was maybe about twenty of us, uh, and about fourteen were lads. Probably within the first ten minutes, she just lined us all up, and. She pulled two of us away and just went, um, have you got anyone to pick you up or take you home? <laughs> and so I was like, no. No? Uh, so we beer for two hours. They just took us to a room. I um, don't know what we did. There was either a computer or some shitty colouring. But then my mum came and picked me up two hours later. I was just livid. Never went back on that. <laughs> did you watch the show afterwards? I watched the bits with Dawn French because I like Dawn French. Yeah. But uh, I thought, oh, that could be me walking in the no. background. <laughs> Got it. I, I imagine the reason for me not getting in it, uh, not my ears, Tom, before you child, <laughs> but maybe my height, because right. I was supposed to be playing a, a 13-year-old, and I I was 13 Jane. at the time. Right. I, was, uh, I was a little bit short. <laughs> They'll never believe it. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit short and fat. So, uh, was it, was it supposed it? to be rationing? <laughs> <laughs> You're meant to be a poverty boy. <laughs> First the homeless and the poverty boy. <laughs> I'm here auditioning for the part of poverty boy. <laughs> <laughs> to the rescue. Poverty <laughs> 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 uh, boy. So was was it like a comedy drama? Because Dawn French is a comedian. No, it's more of a serious. Oh. Should a little bit. 
of comedy, but it was more more serious about. Like, uh, I think it was set 1940s. No. Yeah, it was set during the Second World War. Okay. I didn't. I didn't really watch the show. Um, Just, yeah, yeah. But I was going to be an extra. Unlucky, Sam. Yes. Unlucky. Yeah. Well, you're doing better now. I'm Laugh not, at them. Not am I. So, well done. Okay. Maximus. Hello. You squirted on a kid. Yeah, that's gross, but true. But when you was a kid. Yeah, it makes it all right, doesn't it? <laughs> Sounds better that way. Yeah, it does, does. Didn't know any better. Yeah, exactly. You're yeah. discovering your own body. I was squirting yeah. everywhere. Uh, I wasn't, I wasn't. So um, when you say squirt, yeah. what do you mean by squirt? Like produce liquid that enveloped his body. So like a Lucasade? Yeah. Right, okay. Gotcha. So... You know, classic year 11 versus year 7 type deal. Mm-hmm. They come in, they're cocky bastards. Yeah. You go, rah. Yeah? <laughs> Don't start on me, kid. You can beat the I shit can out of you. see when you come. <laughs> yep. These kids, you know, they're You've being pests. The they're being pests, you know. So you go, shut up, bruv, or I'll murk you. Yeah. And the kid this goes... In Portsmouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the kid's obviously, you know, he's... he's Giving a bit of lip. Yeah, so yeah. what I do, um, Just I've, give him some lip. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Um, <laughs> nip that in the bud. Uh, so do that classic thing where you've got like a, a bottle, <laughs> a bottle with a sports top. Oh yeah. And, yeah. You, and you tip it over and then go that. Up your ass. <laughs> That's foul, Tom. You don't do that. Not with Lucas. They don't get bubbles it's, in it's your colon. It's a classic, classic thing, you know. Year no. eleven, year seven yeah. deal. Because you know. no, that one. Water you know, or milk? You take the kids, Lucas. Eh? The Sorry? sports top ones were still. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm not Lucas Aid boy. I don't know anything about <laughs> that was Smithy Colonic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need the electrolytes ASAP. <laughs> um, I did that. I tipped it over. And yeah. what's meant to happen when you squeeze the bottle is a, a fine mist. What I didn't realise was you're meant to have like half in the bottle. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mine was full. <laughs> <laughs> so when I when I squeeze it, get my face full. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a facial of you know yeah. of squirty liquid. Did a fight in shoe? Well, he chased me. Yeah. What well, uh, said year seven? <laughs> well, so it, he was he was queuing up outside RE. Right. I was okay. on the way to history. So when I did it, he was with all his little cronies. I could probably fight ten year sevens now, <laughs> definitely, yeah. and I have. Yeah. But, <laughs> At that age, and they're all coming after me. Which, you know, they're going to shank me. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Um, it's Portsmouth. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So I run, get into my history class. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but that started like a big bit of beef. So did he it's like come after it. you afterwards after the history? Yeah, of course. But the, by, by that time, I had my boys with me. Right. You know, we just we, the same boys that came to Pirate Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Did he forget after that day, or was it like a... There was always a rivalry a between the year seven... And 11. Because they're, they're cocky little cunts. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> That's well, not a rivalry. Really? Year uh, seven versus year 11. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> rivalry now. Yeah, they just you look flattened. pathetic. It must have been the gimp squad. If you're getting <laughs> picked on by the year No, not picked seven. on, but like... <laughs> like it was one of those you're things... You were being chased, man. You fled from... <laughs> Ten fucking year <laughs> seven. Damn year sevens. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's one of those things where it's like <laughs> they've bested me again. <laughs> Everyone else is revised for GCSE. <laughs> just getting chucked just there with his sling. <laughs> well, old Dennis the Menace shirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's just it's one of those situations where it's like I could definitely beat you up. Yeah, but if I do, I'm going down. <laughs> down, yeah, yeah. So I could kill you, <laughs> you break your neck. Yeah. Realistically, okay, okay. Um, well, I squirt oh. on him. I do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Try and stop me, Todd. No, yeah. don't go away. <laughs> I already forgot yours. Oh, oh no, mine's no. pretty simple, mate. Yeah, yeah. it's the um, yeah history exam. Yeah, and you wrote about the wrong war. Yeah, yeah. So uh, how, how did you how did you manage that? I was a mock uh, exam and. I was fucking ready to go. Loved history. Luckily, it was a mock. Thank God. Um, And it was about the events leading up to the start of World War Two. Gotcha. Uh, And I've I've misread the question, uh, and I'm fucking straight out of the blocks writing about World War One. The question could have been interchangeable. Yeah. And yeah, I did about twelve pages, about two and a half hour exam. Okay. uh, Scored zero marks for that. (laughs) I don't believe you'd score zero. No, no, no. 
This, who, who, what, what did you write about like obviously World War One? well World War One was more fresh in my mind because I think I've done that more recently and that's more famous with the events leading up to it right, with yeah. like uh, so that guy that got yeah shot, got shot and so I don't know for some reason Fans I just French, that's it. Yeah. That was it. so that's I went straight into that thinking it <laughs> and um yeah. I should have bastard of a teacher who just went well, no, he oh, said it was really well written, and uh, okay. yeah, he, said, he said it was well written. But you need to uh, next time, Tom, Watch try and read the question because yeah. uh, okay. embarrass yourself. Huh? Okay, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start with like taking the ones that I don't think are true out. So, Steve, yeah, I don't think yours is true. Oh no, and Tom, I don't think yours is true. So that equals Max. I believe yours is true. And I'd do it again. <laughs> get it? Yeah. Yes. Get in. <laughs> Told you I was back. Fucking shit story, mate. Yeah. Me? Yeah, Terrible. Just a pair of you. So mundane. Mine was dead cool. I'd yeah, done yeah. French in mine. Yeah. Yeah. It was, I was, was I'd done French in mine, though. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was in the background of my story. <laughs> just watching. <laughs> From the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got to help this imagery by you know, describing it. In, oh, sorry. Yeah, do <laughs> Don French Lenny Henry there on a picnic outside. <laughs> Is he the chef? No, he's he's a ex-husband. Oh, uh, all right. Okay, guys, I've gone for a period in history called the 1920s. Yay! The Swinging Roaring Twenties. We're in the Twenties now. Yeah. So I'm just thinking, if history repeats itself, then lo and behold, we're in for some. Well, mixed times. <laughs> we're in for a time. Uh, I'm just going to give you some. Uh, little things that happened okay. pre-1920 but in America 1903 Ford was formed again in the same year the Wright brothers make their first powered Sorry, flight 1903 yeah th- you're not doing the 20s if you want to listen <laughs> and maybe I say I'm just going to build up to what so you're building up sorry fair enough yeah I said that about 30 seconds ago <laughs> get the arrogance out your ears and maybe listen <laughs> 1905 Albert Einstein publishes his theory of relativity 1912 anyone know what happened um War in it. Titanic sunk. No, oh. 1914. Tom. 1912. Uh, presidential election. Woodrow Wilson's in the house. Ooh. Great name for the uh, slips name game. If yeah. you're ever doing that. Uh, two Ridge. W's. Uh, 1917. <laughs> they enter the war. But that started in 1914. Right. Stephen. <laughs> what have they been doing? Stood there with the digging hand. Yes. <laughs> yes, they had. Uh, they entered the war in 1917 because Germany sank uh, some American ships around the British Isles and at that point America says no that Come doesn't back. fly with us quite literally because it's a boat uh, and then you know what less than a year later hey the war was done I bet they knew didn't they well it's not long left gonna, yeah, yeah, it's been yeah. going for three years it is yeah uh, so that the, the war ended and then Germany had to pay reparations because mm. they'd been they'd been nasty not as nasty as they had been you know 20 years later but, uh, <laughs> still bad Tom you're part German and uh, a lot of country needed America's help with you know commercial stuff because they had yeah they had their what's it called the conveyor belt and that shit they could mass produce stuff mm. um, such as cars vehicles mm. that was all up and running in the 1920s now let's get to the roaring 20s yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Uh, Kanye West was on the radio Uh, Wow (laughs) Steve Harvey was on the TV (laughs) I've not researched it No Um, This period uh, mainly affected Western societies The Roaring Twenties Okay And basically the the allied countries Because the others were still just sulking after that L they took uh, we, t- we took a fat dub that yeah, time yeah, 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 yeah. Did a big old dub yeah, yeah. Are right we take that L uh, Germany and the the period saw the large scale development use oh Christ and use of automobiles that's good cars we use those now yep. uh, <laughs> yeah telephones hello hello movies hey, hey! radio hey! Hey! one for me uh, <laughs> electrical appliances hey! Got loads. Being installed into the lives of millions of Westerners. Aviation soon became a business. You had to hey! Hey! <laughs> They should saw rapid industrial and e- economic growth as the media, funded by the new industry of mass market advertising, uh, driver, what have I put there? Advertising, put media. there, covered and pasted me. <laughs> uh, basically, influencers came about. These were sports stars, yeah. movie stars. Ooh. Oh, yeah, sports stars were pretty though. big, uh, and they, they were filling out whole sports arenas in the 1920s. Insane. This is when everything was getting good. 
And also, women got the right to vote. So, swings and roundabouts. Okay. Jazz grew and flappers redefined the look of British and American women. They were going out dancing, having a good old laugh. Oh. And why not? Well, Cinema boomed. Yeah. I didn't interrupt Max once during this time. So maybe show that same Why not? Me. <laughs> uh, I did a lot. <laughs> Cinema boomed, and at the end of the 1920s, they had films with sound. Oh, what? My and God. Walt Disney emerged at this point. <laughs> so <in> cinnamon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Uh, edit that out, Max. Uh, the 1920s saw milestones in aviation that seized the world's attention. In 1927, Charles Lindenberg Hello. rose to fame with the first solo non-stop transatlantic flight. Oh, wow. wow. Really good stuff. Everything's going off here. And why was America so productive, I hear you cry? Because they weren't out getting pissed. That's right. <laughs> uh, the pro- there was a prohibition. Following the ban, criminal gangs gained control of the beer and liquor supply in the cities. Uh, and people drinking speakeasies. Oh, a speakeasy you. is an illicit establishment that sells alcoholic beverages. People also made moonshine. Oh! Uh, yeah, their own alcohol. With, yeah. with methyl and ethyl. They're two things. Uh, it's estimated 10,000 people died during the prohibition because of alcohol poisoning. So, uh, wow. didn't really work, did it? Is it worth it, guys? Who controlled the alcohol coming out? Well, these gangs uh, were largely the mafia. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> What's the mafia, man. Stephen? <laughs> Shut up and I'll tell you guys. <laughs> In New York City alone, the number of Italians soared from 20,000 to 250,000 between 1880 and 1890. And in 1910, that rose to half a milli. Whoa! So a lot of Italians. A lot of... Uh, Too many. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> but during the Prohibition era, Italian-American gangs entered the booming bootleg liquor business and transformed themselves into criminal enterprises. Ooh. Skilled at smuggling, money laundering, bribing, you know, police and other yeah. influential Ooh. people, um, like YouTubers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so they, they really took over. Like, they saw their chance and they seized it. What should I say? Okay. Chicken Caesar salad. <laughs> Italian Caesar. Yeah, that's good. It's loose. Brilliant. In 1929 was the Wall Street crash, and this was when Jordan Belford got drunk and crashed his Lamborghini. (laughs) (laughs) If you've watched the Wolf of Wall Street, that is true. Uh, There's also the Valentine's Day massacre, which is when Al Capone saw his wife with another man on Valentine's Day and said, "No, they're my chaps." He cried, (laughs) ran in the place, and. With a fork and knife, just attached <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Cut them up. Uh, in 1930, uh, the original Mrs. Brown's Boys was released. <laughs> Shortly came after the Great Depression. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Well done. Well done. <laughs> That's how you did it, yeah? Fucking intelligent. Got any questions? A big gangster at the time, Lucky Luciano. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop. Lucky, uh... He, he was actually called... Uh, he was Lucky good. Lucha Libre and he was a wrestler <laughs> so that was why he was so feared good one. any more questions uh, what were the 20s like in, in Britain they just won a war but they were still rationing because uh, uh. they just loved dieting at that point yeah. um, Joe Wicks he really was big on TV and he was really enforcing you know being skinny and toned so people just thought yeah, yeah, yeah. we're yeah. going to cut back on the biscuits yeah. mm. what was the fashion was it a good fashion? Well, flappers, uh, basically, they had crotchless pants. <laughs> Hence flappers. Right. Uh, uh, but they also had, yeah, just flappy. They had uh, they had these hats, sort of, not hats, but like the, the bowy things that go around the head with the feather in. Yeah, yeah. They were oh, boss. Yeah. Yeah. Mafia people, they wore full wig and kits. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. most intimidating of outfits. Just Why were there so many Italians in America in the 20s? <laughs> I could be wrong here. I went to a restaurant whilst I was in New York and it was an Italian restaurant and the mm. food was fantastic there. I thought, <laughs> they've got Broadway and great pasta. On my way, I come. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. They've got Mama's you Meals know. here and Broadway. I could watch Mean Girls yeah. and enjoy a meaty dish. <laughs> he does the question, though. Not really. <laughs> Not really. I think I've nailed the question, sir. That's fair. That's fair. That's me Italians so. loved Broadway. Yep. What more can I say? <laughs> Have point. you been to Times Square? Yeah. Well, as an Italian, or as anyone, you go there and you're like, wow, why do so many people go to New York, Tom? You've got to ask yourself that. 
it's because of Home Alone Two was set there. <laughs> <laughs> Great movie. That came out. That came out. You've got to think of t- time zones. That mm. came out in Naples, in about 1915. So yeah. everyone saw that and went, "Off I go." Lastly, <laughs> you know, Macaulay Corkin's 40 now, so that's yeah. a scam. Sorry, I've completely forgot a key part of that. <laughs> Joey Tribbiani is such a cult figure in Italy. Yeah. Uh, of course, he lives in New York. People went, I want to live like Joey. There you and go. go over. Yeah. Joey yeah. Tribbiani. So that was, that was New York. Tribby, From Top Gear. Wow. Yeah. What, a, what an education. That was insane. And was, I kept it brief. Was there any viruses? Like... Uh, yeah. There was a... Uh, when was the Spanish flu? Was that? I was focusing on America, Dave. So oh, yeah. mind your necking. <laughs> Our father, destiny, it's destiny. your baby, yeah. destiny. You know what that sound is? It's time for Dave Raves. Dave Raves. Dave Raves. Dave Raves. Gotta get those Dave Raves. Gotta get them. Yeah, gotta get them. Are you angry? Or are uh, you I'm, uh, confused? I'm, I'm a bit. I'm a bit of everything today. I've, oh. I've, got, I've got one that is amazement. Um, I've got one that is oh, what could have happened? Lustful. And I've got one that is kind of like questionable. <laughs> it's kind of racist. It's kind of questionable. <laughs> we get one of those every week. <laughs> <laughs> so my first one is you know ice. 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 Yeah. Forget about it. Right. Lemons. Chop lemons up. Put them in the freezer. Use that as ice. You get a bit of flavour in with your drink and none of the water. Oh. Honestly, life-changing wow. events. Right. You ever had frozen grapes? No. Yeah. Yeah. Is good. that the same yeah. thing? Yeah. Fun. Chuck it in. Jenna's done frozen strawberries. She loves a strawberry in her drinks. So, or oh, it's, it's a red fruit. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> Should be a tomato. So many to choose from. Yeah, it. Doesn't um, matter. <laughs> Don't watch that fucking tripod. <laughs> um, the other one. Just take a frozen <laughs> <laughs> uh, What was the reaction of cavemen when they figured out fire? <laughs> oh, it's another red thing, but this one's hot. Was it? Was it? Was it one of those? <laughs> Holy shit! Well, what have I just made? I remember they were all sat round for dinner. So you need a fire. Of course, this was in the 20s, wasn't yeah. it? So you... one, of them, one of them was sat there with a lovely drink. Is that a fucking neck tree? In a <laughs> the cold fucking neck tree there. <laughs> Something red. And, um, then, and then they saw a, a blaze and they went, oh, that looks, that looks just like my computer background. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, I was just, I was just fit watching a... Uh, 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 thousand BC or ten thousand BC, yeah. one of the two, and they figured out fire. They must have melted the hands because they must have like, touched it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't you? Like, not they, knowing. I still don't know. Discovery though. Yeah. Yeah. But I just wondered what the reaction would have been. Would it have been? Oh fuck. Do you think if you were or, transported back to caveman times, you would be able to make fire? No. I don't know if I could. No. You see, I don't, what like? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, what I yeah, know from Minecraft. I think I'd be able to figure things. it out. Oh yeah, but like, isn't it like specific? Stones you need to hit. You can rub rocks, uh, sticks. Yeah, can't you? Is it just sparks? sticks? Yeah, yeah, it needs uh, to be dry. Can't, yeah, right. no, probably uh, could then. Probably, yeah. Uh, probably just flow with the chick as sparks like Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Caveman really? chick. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, the other one is, uh, why is sorry for the sign language so like, aggressive? What is this. Fuck it. Up. You have to touch the other person. Yeah. How do you apologise oh. during a pandemic? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, okay, sorry, I gave you but coronavirus. What if a bloke's apologising to a woman for staring at her? <laughs> sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but that's... Imagine, sorry. like, a deaf person. Uh, I'm there. Oh, do they, or do they go, like... Because I feel like that would be more... Yeah. Or, but if you, they're pissed... Uh, sort of thing and he's like he's just fucking pushed me <laughs> uh, also most people a lot of people don't know sign language no. so like so if someone started doing that I'm like what the fuck are you Dave, doing Dave I feel like when you're in Prague you were talking to someone that you eventually found out was dead <laughs> <laughs> you fucking ignore him mate <laughs> <laughs> and a toilet's for your walls. <laughs> Why are you pushing me? Don't fucking. We'll get this in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, there's a story in Prague. Uh, there was, oh. We was walking, and this guy uh, has lost his friend. And uh, he oh. turned around to us and went, Oh, I've just got wanked off, by the way. And I was like, Oh, I was just about to ask. <laughs> you were as well, weren't you? Yeah, I was. Oh, mate. I was. It's just the next question that was going to pop into my head. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> I've got an improv one. Uh, uh, windows. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, how yeah. does he do it? <laughs> we all know what he's thinking of him in doing as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. It, makes you, it makes you reassess stuff in life. Mm. Exactly. Um, well speaking done. of reassessing things, should we go to IMAX? Yay. IMAX. Yay. And I believe this week is a special IMAX. Oh, Isn't that right, Tom? Oh, yeah. I got you a gift and I thought it's film related and it'll be right up your street. It's some <laughs> funky sunglasses. Hey, oh, hey, that's beautiful. Hey, it's hey, hey. Captain America. This is a Captain oh, America. The guy that plays uh, Captain America, Chris Evans, accidentally uh, posted yeah, his, his penis Alex on the is, internet this week. He's yeah. got a fat dong. P H A T. Not the longest, but girthy. I, I usually watch a lot of things about he's, movies, but that's the one thing I haven't he's, caught. He's up got on. a he's got a sword for that shield. I don't oh. know. <laughs> oh, Pork hey. sword. Yeah. Oh, a sticker. Yeah, do you want me to take yeah. the sticker off for you? Yeah, it's right. Sorry, keep it on. You keep the tag on. He's yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's definitely tagged. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another episode of I'm Air. Hold oh, your applause. <laughs> um, this week's IMAX, you know, it's just... <laughs> just wonder what the A could stand for. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing F- facts F- about movies. Yes. Abominable. <laughs> Abominable. Angry. Uh, <laughs> Alan. A loser. What? <laughs> 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 Oh, anal bandit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Captain America's nemesis. He puts that on and <laughs> stands next to him. You don't know which one is which. <laughs> you don't know who to kill. <laughs> With a bin lid. <laughs> Shoot him! Shoot him! <laughs> Do you remember when we were kids? <laughs> Come on, Bucky! It's only me. <laughs> it's only oh me. no, because Joe's dog's called Bucky. And Is you just he? Say, Come on, Bucky! Bucky. Oh, 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 nice. oh, he's been shagging your God. dog. Oh, the Alsatian thing. The Max, sorry, yeah, yeah, IMAX. Yeah, this week IMAX. Yeah, great audition. I had an audition for a movie. That's what the A stands for. Yeah, it was great. It went really well, I think. So you don't even need to hear it. <laughs> no, yeah, I've got the part. That's great. Uh, yeah, audition for the History Boys. Oh, oh, nice. oh that's a weird film. James Calder. Yeah, James got But yeah. also the teachers, does he feel that one of the kids? Yeah. No, nah, I've not seen it. I think he does. <laughs> I think he does. <laughs> he does. Oh, yeah, Hector. Oh, yeah, yeah, Hector, yeah. Oh, dear, man. I haven't seen oh. it. Oh, oh, no. Why are you promoting that film? Anyway, should we, should we listen to it? <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the IMAX experience. Enjoy the show. Oh lordy, I've got me a case of the vapours. That's right, IMAX is about to audition for the hit movie, The History Boys. I do hope they pick little old me for the role. Oh crumbs, who's this? My name is James Corden. What? From the hit TV show, The Late Late Show with James Corden? That'll be me! Wow, I can't believe we're up for the same part. To be honest, it's a privilege to be sitting with a star like you. Fat people love sugarcoating things. Wow, where has this come from, Jimmy C? A lack of exercise. Ra, what the hell, man? Fat people are stupid and lazy. What? I just thought that we all knew this. Okay, do 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 do. Anyway, what did you do this weekend? We'll call fat people virgins. Oh, for fuck's sake, JC. Like I'm doing now. I'm not even a virgin, though. The worst lie since Santa. Mate, how can you say that? I'm hot. Look at this ass. No, don't you dare clap it. I won't. I'll let your dad do it for me. Fake news. Don't test me, Corden. I might just seem like a reviewer of the hottest, freshest movies, but I'm way more than that. I wield the power of movies in my palm like an unholy flame. I am IMAX, scourge of bad movies and actors everywhere. You wish to be in the history, boys? The power of cinema grants me the unnatural ability to bring forth the real history, boys, crawling from the nether realm they inhabit. I summon the fourth Winston Churchill to destroy this naysayer. What are you all staring at? Yeah. Uh, have you never seen a, a Prime Minister before? Come hither, Hitler, to destroy this foul fiend. And from the depths of Hades, I bring forth the worst man this world has ever produced. Oh, I'm back working again. Oh, it's too much, is this? What do you think of my unholy trio, James Corden? Virgins. Oh. Well, good luck with the whole audition. I've got to get these three back to hell where they belong. Bye. Out! <laughs> get out! <laughs> Is that Jimmy fucking summer? <laughs> Famous virgin. Famous virgin. Ever. Oh my lord. Raid on them. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was uh, that was it's confusing. Mm. He's auditioning for a film that's <laughs> happened about fifteen years ago. <laughs> yeah. And Pretty before his audition, he's describing it as a hit film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Speak to James Corden. Yeah. Everton of these done after the history yeah. boys. I'm thinking there's flaws in this. Yeah. Big flaws. I've been saying this. Not just the fact that he can, you know, summon Churchill Hitler and Savile. <laughs> It's, it's so weird. <laughs> I think Savile's worse than those two. Yeah. Hit, Obviously, worse. people won't like that he summoned Churchill from hell. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. That's, a lot of World War II lovers. Does he even Savile's need to go there? there you know? I hope I don't yeah. end up in hell. No. Uh, I probably will. <laughs> them three. Probably go in limbo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be good. Don't sound well. Oh. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. 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 Nice. Take the stairs. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> you know I'm scared of enclosed spaces like lifts and coffins <laughs> and uh, <laughs> toilets <laughs> and other things. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Jerry, Jerry Bakewell. You've probably heard of me. <laughs> No, very no, famous, no. very famous. You, you heard of Cherry Bakewell? No, no, I don't know what they are. No, <laughs> I think you did. No, I've no, never heard of them. Never heard of them. They no way in. you've not heard of Cherry Bakewell. <laughs> are are you no way. Kidding? You even know what grub is? You skinny twat. You look like heroin addict. You look like a little little corpse boy. <laughs> a little corpse boy. Why are you here? <laughs> Everyone pointed out for the little corpse boy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you've probably heard of me. Now I have to say fuck I don't off, know what I, don't <laughs> ever right don't off. tell me to fuck off because I'll give you a, a right smack bottom <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit famous do you want to know why you're from no. you're, no. oh, on, do you not go care on. about culture or getting to know your betters oh. so yeah. a few on, weeks ago you know if you ever watched science movie and <laughs> science movie is basically a caveman and he gets frozen but way back in caveman oh I've just knocked the glass on my finger oh don't worry Joe McGraw there's no water in it not anymore the science movie caveman he freezes in time yeah. and the scientist says let's unfreeze this fella and show him new world well I'm sort of like that you know you were frozen in time yeah I was frozen wow. in time it was scary I've woken up on all this new technology and shit. Wow. So I'm going on date, right? And me, 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 me grandson. I hate to call bullshit, man. <laughs> Sorry. Have you? Were you in some sort of coma? No, I'm frozen in time. You don't come out coma. Maybe, maybe you're frozen, oh, you were Jerry. literally frozen. Literally frozen in time. I was frozen right, down in 22nd Juniper Street. Yeah, I'm going to get a, a date with Dorothy down. She's local, local cabbage woman. I don't mean that like she was in coma. I mean, she was a greengrocer. Really funny story, this. It's not that I'll say by now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I used my son's Lynx Africa. And I said, oh, it's a bit, you know, a bit tasty for me, but I'll give it a go. I didn't know how much to use, did I? I used a whole bottle on myself. Yeah. And I was frozen. <laughs> Literally frozen because I used so much and so close, my body was frozen in time. I was stuck for two hours in 22 Juniper Street. <laughs> I watched the whole Coronation Omnibus. <laughs> Little Doris, yeah? <laughs> Famous Coronation Street character. I had to watch her for two hours, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's rumoured that Walt Disney was frozen in time. Yeah. Oh, I oh. believe you know, in the in the White House. Hell's yeah. There's, there's got to be secret documents that Obama's so, probably seen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, who's Bush. Obama? I don't know. I don't know any of this stuff because I was frozen in time. I don't know who Barack Obama is. The first black president. Mm. A black president? No! <laughs> I've not been frozen in time, and there's no way there was a black president. No way, son. Yeah, yeah. First linked but... African, now this. Yeah. Uh, Don't make me sound like a racist. Does that itself? I think it's a black cap. <laughs> black president! Yeah. Yeah. Stop pointing when you say it. <laughs> Fuck off, man. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> See, I do, I do know how to do good PR. When, when were you frozen? I can't keep time? up with you. I Sorry. was frozen too. A week ago for two hours for two hours I was frozen in time and I'm, I'm scientific marvel I don't believe a word of what you've said <laughs> particularly the fact you were going on a date with the cabbage woman or that you've got a woman pregnant and had a child <laughs> the local cabbage woman the fact not my baby you had to use a whole bottle of links 
because you stink that fucking much. <laughs> I don't want a have, shower. I don't like can't be used to you. We've got a shower. How's a bloody shower, man? Water falls from the ceiling. <laughs> Running water in a home. No, we get bucket from well. You're telling me there's water in your home? Yeah. No, shut up, man. I love, I love how you, you say this. Yeah, you're leaning into the microphone perfectly. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell is this, man? Microphone? <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, what else is confusing you? Come on, bro. Go around, go around, come. Bloody lights, man! <laughs> How do you know it's a light? Know it's a light because it's producing light! <laughs> I'm using my mind! Oh, yeah, my so much. And you knew about lifts as well. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Lifts? <laughs> no! Probably edit that bit out, or there's no mention of me seeing lifts. <laughs> <What's> <laughs> <it>? <laughs> I don't want to live, man! <laughs> uh, <laughs> you've got an agenda. I do! Jerry <laughs> Baker, you've got so much to learn about the world. Yeah. Uh, why, so, don't you, why don't you just uh, go and fuck off it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's a mind I don't want fucking mortgage. <laughs> Read a book. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Jerry. Bye. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> oh. 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 That was a uh, very believable. Was Jerry Bakewell there? Yeah. Oh man. So I'd have. Yeah, uh, any bad words said about Jerry? You know, he's clearly an ill man. Yeah. <laughs> you all right, mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. just. Uh, Did you see uh, an old man foaming at the mouth? He uh, was, he was <laughs> weeing on the, uh, yeah, weeing on the stairs. Doesn't know what a toilet is apparently. That's Jerry Bakewell. <laughs> uh, Good man. Great character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hey. get into some Looney. Hey. 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 Looney, 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 Looney. 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 Some crazy historical facts for you this week. Oh, Yay! fucking Yay! calm down. Oh, it's your oh, facts are oh, historical. Joe, no. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. In order to demoralise the Germans during World War II, Churchill sent bombing raids to Berlin. <laughs> bombing raids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't we do it first? Can you just stop digging yourself out of this hole? <laughs> yeah. Out of the hole? Well, that's what you should be doing, but you just sat there going, Oh, I'm just going to sit in my little homophobic hole. No, no, bombing raids on a Sunday. Oh, Churchill, yeah, that'll scare the Germans while it's sending the gays on. <laughs> Your lot don't like them, do they? Look out, here comes Graham Norton. But the Nazis famously didn't oh. like gay people. Famously. Germans aren't all Nazis, yeah. mate. The Nazis. Mm, my, uh, my grand... Grandma was born in Nazi Germany. That's how Alan Turing helped win the war. Yeah. Not by solving the codes. No. <laughs> I'm just trying to shag all the Germans, apparently. Yeah. Just doing a cabaret act. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, so Churchill sent 50 bombers to fucking flatten Berlin. It was a complete disaster. Uh, six crashed. I it, said find them, not fist them. <laughs> Get uh, back. They destroyed a shed in a Berlin suburb. <laughs> Two they Germans were slightly it. injured, and the only casualty was an elephant in the Berlin Zoo. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm just awful for the elephant. Uh, I'd love to. See, uh, I'd, lo I just, I'd love to see uh, Hollywood kind of dramatise that and try and turn these guys into heroes. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> Plows into a shit. <laughs> yes, that was a poor elephant. Poor, though. That's yeah, fun. Poor, poor. Uh, great story from a war. This, you don't, these are the ones you don't hear. In 1866, Liechtenstein uh, sent out an army of 80 men to participate in the Austro-Prussian War. They came back with 81. Uh, they, yeah. to some, it, <laughs> no casualties, and they picked up some Italian bloke along the way. Wow. <laughs> Returned a hero. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Uh, what else have we got? He was probably on his way to uh, America. <laughs> New York, yeah. 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 And then yeah. they stole him. It's a vent, it's yeah. cuisine. Yeah. yeah man. It's a Broadway. What a shit. Yeah. What a shit. Uh, One World Trade Center. No. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely view of America there. That was that weren't long ago, was it? World well, well, Trade uh, Center. Palava. Bloomingdale. Palava day. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking palava. Must <laughs> <laughs> be the news reporter. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Don't sing that palava in New York. Yikes! If you get me. Oh dear. It's the twentieth anniversary. It's, it's of the a real head in hands moment. <laughs> but the it's traffic's been murdered. Dropping the ball, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> they'll look back on that and they'll wince. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Wrong choice of words. He won't sleep tonight. <laughs> no? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah.
during the Second War with the Mithridates, <laughs> the Romans uh, basically led siege to this city and they were digging trenches underneath the walls. Nice. And they were digging so well that the defending uh, members of the city Hired them. Uh, decided that instead of like facing them head on, they just dug trenches above the tunnels and sent down bears and bees. Oh god! To attack them, bears and bees. Yeah. Uh, honey bears. badgers would be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just, think, <laughs> just a badger, and then <laughs> maybe, maybe a magician coming at your throat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. uh, just like a gay man. Yeah. 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 When he says bears, that's what it means. Yeah. 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 The bears and twinks. <laughs> <laughs> bears and twinks. Can, can you hear Kylie play? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, what Max. have we got here? <laughs> World War Two. Japanese soldier named Hiro Inoda. Oh, a hero by name. Yeah. <laughs> a hero by nature. <laughs> Never realised the war was over until 1974. Basically, he was sent to a small island in the Philippines to spy on American forces. He evaded capture and was hiding in the jungle, and for 30 years he didn't realise the war was over. They had to send his former commanding officer over to convince him that the war was over. <laughs> I feel like you're not doing your job. Yeah. yeah. No, no. If you don't know the war's finished and you're a spy, <laughs> <laughs> and the newspaper, someone's so committed. Yeah. <laughs> no. Running around the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> you will never get these. I've, I've tried. We've all tried to tell him. <laughs> He's just a nut job. Oh, oh God. Great. Um, Fantastic. Palace of Versailles. Basically, uh, this beautiful, like the most opulent palace in like the fucking world or Western. Is there any need um, to cuss? Really, we yeah. know what the world is, Tom. Yeah, well, they had no toilets, um, so <laughs> people uh, they used to just uh, shit in the corners in the corridor. Um, nice. Yeah, so like the king, uh, they had to clean up feces every week. So like, the king uh, every week. They waited yeah. a week. Every week. So the week. Kind of, this fa- this beautiful, beautiful, wow. you know, kind of centre of the Parisian of uh, the French monarchy. Was famous for smelling like shit. Was it? Was there like a special room, or was it just any room? And it was corridors generally, because they used to have That's these the big worst. parties and stuff. And hold. it's a house for the yeah. shit. Oh, I you imagine they're hosting these like, like foreign an dignitaries and yeah. you know, kind of no, no members of the nobility <laughs> they're just <laughs> shitting in the corridor. <laughs> in the I garden. suppose they're used to it because people used to throw their shit out the windows, didn't they? Yeah, that's out the house. Yeah, yeah, no, but not in a palace. The street. There'd be yeah, somewhere to go. You'd at least make a room. You go in the garden. Yeah, an outhouse. Oh, they, well, they have be- they've got. That's one of the beautiful things about the palace is the gardens. Yeah, people, I know this. Yeah, yeah and people used to just yeah, just co- shit there, covered in shit. Well, do you want one more? Yeah, yeah, one more. Go oh, on. yeah come on. He's loading. Oh, this. He's loading. You'd be furious with this one. Uh, a German U-boat uh, was sunk uh, because the toilet was quite complex, and there was a person um, designated to flush the toilet, a technician. And one time, one of the sailors forgot, flushed it, and uh, sank the boat. Jesus. Nice. Obviously, it's a submarine, though, so... Came to the top, got torpedoed, and they all died. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. That'll learn them. Should, yeah, yeah. should have done what the Palace of Versailles did and just shut in the corridor. This is it. When uh, when Prince Andrew travels about, that's a torpedo. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 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 Uh, hey! He's here all week. He's here all week. Let's have put it to the max. Put it to the max. Put it to the max. Are we ready? Yeah, man. Ready to get cool. some answers. What have we got? Right. Hi, Steve and Tom, Max, Dave, slash Ryan. Fuck Ryan, yeah. 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 <laughs> Basically, me and my dad get on really well, but he often makes homophobic jokes. And I know you're the kid, Max. <laughs> <laughs> I recently realised I was gay. The A stands for advice now. Yep. Yeah. Advice. <laughs> really get some answers. Do I risk ruining my relationship with him and tell him? If so, how should I approach it? Any help would be appreciated. Cheers, lads. Keep up the great work. I don't know. I'm assuming this is like a, an older dad, whatever. Mm. Uh, so I'm just, hopefully, he's doing it as a joke. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> he stands not, for assuming, it seems. <laughs> uh, hopefully he's not uh, an awful homophobic man. No. Yeah, he stands for awful homophobic <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> no. Um, it's your dad. <laughs> and you get on with him well. He's not going to go, yeah. oh, you're gay. Well, that's what I mean. Well, I'm yeah. going to keep cracking wise. He'll yeah. be like, oh. And then he'll go on a little learning yeah. curve. Yeah. Sooner yeah. you get out of the way with the bear before he makes any, before he makes any more awful homophobic <laughs> comments. Yeah. yeah. 
I'm sure uh, he just needs a bit of education. Exactly. He's probably never encountered anyone before. Cause, yeah. Open their eyes. Yeah. Hi, Dave, Tom, Max and Stephen. Love to stay anonymous if that's okay, boys. Cut straight to the chase. I'm a skinny, lanky fuck, and I've got no idea how to put weight on in the right way. Tried eating more, but I find out just... Find I just put on some shit pot belly. I'm not putting it on on the right places. Have you got any idea how to build muscle mass for a skinny lad? Yeah, you do need to eat a lot. Um, I've managed to do it a little bit in the past, but you've just got to work really fucking hard. A lot of calories. And he says he can do that, but he just gets fat. I know, but you know, it's, I don't think you realise how hard you have to work because this you, you probably like me at my healthiest weight is quite slim. You know, and I feel strong, I feel fit, but. Um, if it's mass that you want in for aesthetic reason reasons, you're going to have to push kind of beyond that and yeah. just work out three or four times say a week. Different heights, different weight. Don't they? If you if you're trying to if you're skinny yeah. and you're trying to gain muscle, just do the old classic bodybuilding split of push pull legs, uh, and you're pulling your own legs there, by the way. <laughs> but yeah, just do that. Don't really worry about cardio. Mm. Don't hey, do that. Be fine. And you yeah, want mass? Eat big. Go to church. And don't just eat for the sake of, you know, eating. Cause... But I do that whenever I think, oh, I'm going to put on some muscle. I just eat shit and I go, oh, mm. well, I'll burn it off in the gym. Yeah. I don't. I don't. No. Yeah. Uh, Preach it. You're better off being healthy than being buff. Just kind of... Yeah, be buff. Yeah, yeah. Make these <laughs> small changes and over, over time, hopefully you'll, you know, yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> hey lads, my name's Marco. Bye. I'm 15 and I come from Macedonia. And wow. Face. That's, that's, that's ancient, like Greece and shit. No, no, it's, it's, this is today. Oh. This Boy's is a history. real life man from 2020. Medos. Living in Macedonia. Yeah. There's a real country. I thought it was just like one of those ones that were like Troy. No, no, it's an ancient, ma- ancient Macedonia is like northern Greece and what is north Macedonia oh. now. Alexander the Great and that Macedonia but, um, and Thrace it's a country today is it doing alright? <laughs> I think so <laughs> uh, uh, and I come from Macedonia in the future I want to live in the UK could you give me your frank opinion on what life is like there because I've never visited Britain stay safe stay humble definitely move up north if you're going to go to England just because the south is so expensive like ridiculously mm. expensive so if you're moving up go Manchester Leeds that's all you need really yeah, isn't it? yeah what about yeah. Newcastle uh, the accent actually no I like the accent um, <laughs> I, it's just I don't know I've never been I've yeah. never been to Macedonia yeah. I don't know what to compare it no, to no we don't get good weather over here so no, I no. assume sunny Greece Macedonia is Greece really uh, so there's probably more uh, to do here oh. than in Macedonia um, go to Germany Get pissed. Go to Ibiza. Amsterdam, yeah. not Prague. There we go. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for, for putting it to the back there. And next week, we will have the final question. What? No final question for this? Next week, it's just the same topic. Oh, part two, oh, innit? have a final yeah, question. Part two. Then. Just didn't get anywhere. It's the... No. But also, it's first one. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, we'll be back next week with History Part 2. <laughs> oh! oh yes. With... Wait. Dave and Tom. Thank you very much to Dave. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. It's been a blast. Windows, am I right, Dave? Windows. Max Smith. Cheers, gang. Well done. Thomas Cooney. Unforgettable. And Joe McGrath. Stay safe, stay humble. Ciao.